I grew up around here, so I've watched where we used to go in and harvest trees uh, and seen them push up the treetops and burn them. Uh, we, I watched that as a boy uh, year after year. And you know, you always think of, you know, what could you do with that? This is cool that we're able to burn that debris uh, and make power with it. The Deerhaven Renewable Generating Station may be Gainesville's best kept secret. Located on roughly 100 acres adjacent to GRU's Deerhaven Generating Station, DHR is the largest biomass plant in the United States, capable of producing more than 100 megawatts, enough to power 80,000 homes continuously throughout the year. For Gainesville Regional Utilities customers, that means another reliable, competitively priced, and environmentally beneficial form of energy. DHR supplements an already diverse portfolio that includes natural gas, solar, coal, liquid fuel, and landfill gas. It gives us the option to switch to another source. So the more diverse that fuel portfolio is, the more reliable our system is. GRU bought DHR in November 2017. After taking over operations, GRU started to run the plant more efficiently, saving customers money while simultaneously reducing the city's carbon footprint. To ensure clean air, the plant uses state-of-the-art emissions control technology to reduce any harmful substances in the flue gas before it exits the stack. These include a bubbling fluidized bed boiler to assure complete combustion of the wood chips, thereby minimizing carbon monoxide production, a selective catalytic reduction system to convert NOx to water vapor and nitrogen, a dry sorbent injection system which supplements the wood ash to reduce mercury, SO2 and acid gases, and a fabric filter system or bag house to reduce particulates. In addition, DHR is a zero liquid discharge facility, so no wastewater is discharged into the environment. Monitoring wells and stormwater outfalls are sampled to provide assurance that there is no impact to water. But make no mistake, safely operating a power plant that receives between 120 and 140 trucks full of wood chips every day is no simple task. The process starts with wood chips cultivated from within 75 miles of the facility, primarily from sawmills, logging companies, and urban sources. DHR uses the wood scraps produced as a byproduct of these operations, so it's an efficient and eco-friendly process. In fact, the U.S. Department of Environmental Protection considers biomass carbon neutral. DHR uses materials as a fuel source that would otherwise be left to rot in the field, open burned, or landfilled. After severe storms such as Hurricane Irma, storm debris is even collected, chipped, and used as fuel. When the wood chips arrive at DHR, the trucks delivering them weigh in before continuing to the tipper. Then the truck tipper tips the whole truck up as high as 57 degrees. Once emptied, the chips move along a conveyor and into what's known as a hogger. This hogger checks the size of this wood and if it needs to be smaller so that we can burn it more efficiently, that hog, hogger pulverizes it. Once it's pulverized, it goes into either the dead yard or the live yard. The dead yard is where wood chips are pushed with dozers into reclaimers. In the live yard, automated equipment mechanically and without any human interaction pulls the wood chips onto a belt that winds its way up to a boiler. Wood that is brought up to the boiler then gets transferred to two feed bins. Those feed bins, uh, as the boiler needs more fuel, it divides that wood up in the two sides and it injects that wood into the boiler. The combustion of the wood converts the chemical energy contained in the wood into thermal energy. The thermal energy heats water that's housed in tubes that form the walls of the boiler. The boiler produces uh, the heat we need to make steam. That steam is what drives a turbine. The turbine is driven uh, at 
3,600 RPMs, and it is connected to a generator, and that generator is what's producing the power that goes out to the grid. With the hazards of constantly moving equipment and high-pressure steam, safety is a top priority for employees and guests of the plant. Anybody who comes in the gate needs to know that safety is our first priority, whether it's a contractor, vendor, uh, one of our family members, or somebody coming on a tour. The only way you can maintain a workforce, maintain a plant, safety being first. You need people to uh, maintain and run this plant uh, to be able to produce the power that uh, this area needs. So it's a lot about people. Like Jeff, and Jim, and Robbie. The amazing thing is it's done very efficiently. The way this plant uh, runs is, uh, is just amazing. I'm in awe every day when I come here.